is overrated, Barry. <laughs> oh yeah, about the song. Okay, so, you know, those of us that uh, find ourselves trapped in this business occasionally write songs and they come from a lot of different places. Uh, but this song, that that is song actually came to me in a dream as it only happened to one other thing. I don't recommend this as a method for songwriting because because I've been doing it for a long time and I've only had two events like this. But anyway, <laughs> uh, my uh, paternal grandmother appeared to me in this dream and, uh, you, you know, my, my father's family came from Finland. The Finns are either very, very light, very, very pale and blonde, or they can be very dark. And my grandmother was part lap, so she was sort of a very dark looking Finn who sort of looked like one of these carved troll characters that uh, you buy in roadside stands down south. But anyway, so she, uh, Ida, that was her name, appeared and, and she said in broken English that, uh, you know, life really is just a, a river of time. And when you pass, you're left on the shore. So if you're still floating down the river, you better get with the program. She didn't say it exactly like that, but that's pretty much what she was trying to say. So. <laughs> When we were getting ready to do this record at Lee's place, Levon's place, I'd already decided that I was going to call the album River of Time, and we were getting ready to do our last day of recording, and I realized that we had all the songs done, and we had a name for the album, but I hadn't written that song yet. So I decided to take a guitar home to the hotel, and I picked up one of the many cases, and I got home, I opened the case up, and I looked at the case and it said, said Collings or Taylor or something like that. I don't know one of those guitars. That's yeah, just a guitar and I opened it up and there was no guitar in the case. Now it's three in the morning, the studio's closed. I don't have a guitar in the hotel. I have a song to write. I do have an empty case. So I sat down and I wrote this poem. And the next day when we went back to Lee's place, which is sort of in the woods like where I live, I sat down at a picnic table and sat down and put the music to it while they were setting the studio up. We went in and recorded the song and it really worked well. Now, like I said, I don't recommend this as a songwriting method, but I was teaching a class. This is not what I would suggest, but it did work in this case. In any case, the song is called River of Time. And what happened to the song that, you, that came to you in a dream? What, what was the uh, result of writing that song? What was the result? Well, it was actually that year was the, uh, the NPR Folk Song of the Year at Folk Alley up in uh, Kent State, which was pretty exciting. And, uh, So if you want to have successful songs, do nothing, go to sleep early, 